Hey, hello everyone, welcome back. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to introduce you to one of the open source project which will be helpful for you if you are wish to develop and file explorer or a gallery like application for your Android phone. So this is an application which is known as LeafPick and uh, as you can see this is on the home screen it shows me all the folders from my gallery and in click of this it shows me all the images and videos it contains. From here you can sort uh, whether you want only videos or whether you want only uh, images so currently this folder does not have any uh, video. So let's go to some other folder and this folder if I select from your video it will show me only the videos and here and the second option is all media from here you can take this sorting it shows me only videos if i select images it shows me only images right so you can sort in this way you can also sort as by the name date or type or ascending or descending order and here we have many more options like select all you can all select all and you can share or delete the all the photos you can also copy them or move them to another uh, folder from here after that if we go back we are having the hidden folder option from here you can get the all the hidden folders or images from your memory card or phone memory you can access them from here right after that uh, you can also sort them as per this after that uh, we are having wallpaper section this feature is coming soon currently not available uh, in settings section you can get many more features before that let's see about section in about the details of the uh, this application is here and all the developers who had contributed to this application uh, you can you can get the details from here after that let's go to uh, all media and you let's select any of the image from here and as you can see uh, this image has many options at the top the, we can share this image from here uh, you, we can delete this image you can rotate this image by using this option and if you want the color code of whichever color this image contains you can click on the palette option and you will get the, all the color codes that this image contains you can just click on the color and the color code will be copied to your clipboard right so after that one more feature it has is details you can access details of your image after that we are having the edit option from where you can edit the image for example you can crop the image also it can just a free crop option uh, you can rotate this image as per your wish after that you can uh, also zoom in or zoom out this image after that you can save this image and it will be saved as a new copy from here after that more option we have we can copy or move to another folder you can use it as a wallpaper or contact wallpaper after that we can rename this file after that uh, uh, you can uh, use slideshow option to display all the images one by one and after that we are having more options like sorry for that uh, let's go to image and we are having more option as uh, okay let's go to settings section now here you uh, using the settings section you can customize the whole application as per your requirements for example you have, first of all we are having security option though so by using this you can uh, set the password or you can protect it by using the password uh, this you can protect this application by using your password you can set the password or you can also set the password to particular image or video after that we are having multi column section from here you can select the uh, display of your folders for example for now if you go to uh, local folders here it is displaying the three grid uh, items right so if we go to setting and if we change its multi column to four and click on ok if we go back as you can see it shows me the uh, small icons and in single row it will show me four uh, what say uh, for uh, uh, folders right so in this way you can customize it after that uh, we are also having the option of uh, manage your folders this which is coming soon so let's go back after that uh, we are having the theme option you can change the theme of your application from here so currently our is dark unknown let's change it to dark you can also change it to light white so as you can see this is white theme you can change the primary color from here right let's change to green okay after that you can change the accent color from here currently our accent color is yellow let's change it to red or oh, purple purple seems good as you can see our accent color has been changed to purple after that you can also change the media viewer whenever you click on any image or video at that time what color you should use so you can change it from here after that album card view so as you can see if you go back uh, this is our uh, folders right 
so the currently folder design is like this we can change it by go to setting and album car view from here you can choose any of this uh, design of for your folders right we have three types of designs so let's select this and click on ok uh, after that uh, custom colors for icons we can use uh, we can use uh, the transparent status bar we can also change the color of the navigation drawer uh, you can change the brightness from here and after that instant play option whenever you click on any of the video it will automatically start playing so this is the feature for that map provider will be used whenever you click or uh, record any video or picture it will save the current location in details of that image or video so you can select the map from here after that uh, you can disable the option that pop up animation uh, you can disable them from here so these are the options many more options it contains after that if you go to a video and if you select on video it will play by using the any other any other application or your inbuilt gallery video player application right it also contains many features so this is the application which i want to introduce you in our today's tutorial uh, Oh, and uh, this is I think this is a good application to get started if you want to develop a file explorer or the gallery or the image editor like application this application is openly available open source available on the github so this has been the name of the application is leafpick and it has been developed, uh, developed by Hora apps and the link of this application I'll give you in description and it has 3.1k stars and it has been forked by 1.3k peoples and uh, as you can see this is our repository and it has all the features from here it has been tested properly at the production level uh, and uh, it is also available on google play store right uh, and it has been developed using java language and if you wish to contribute to this application if you find an issue and if you want to contribute to open source project so this is a good option you can contribute from here you can fork this repository and start contributing to it and if you want to file an issue you can go to issues and you can file an issue here and it will be resolved soon right as you can see to 98 issues have been closed till now so this is the application and i think this is fine for today's tutorial hope you like this tutorial and thanks for watching